Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about artifacts because I have gotten a lot of questions regarding the artifacts in Call of Dragons. And today's topic will be how to choose the correct artifact, how to pick the correct artifact for your desired legion in order to maximize your value and in order for you to be relevant in fights right uh, as always i will mention every single um, your legion type in the game and we will be speaking about the artifacts which you should choose and how in general you will be choosing those artifacts first of all let's speak about marksmen and in general you need to understand the correct artifacts for the marksmen are only two types and in general in call of dragons artifacts are two type one type is mainly assault type artifacts which will which main focus is to deal as much damage as possible uh, with the skill for example with these stats uh, which you can see on the main page of the artifact and also there is some defensive artifacts which will be more of a uh, survivability helper uh, with the with the skill and the stats also right for example uh, assault artifacts are mainly uh, with the attacking stats and the skill is dealing damage and the survivable defensive artifacts will be giving you more defensive stats and the skills of the artifacts will be more defensive uh, skills than the assault ones so in order for you to choose the correct artifact for your legion you need to understand what type of gameplay you will have with that legion right for example in general more mostly uh, mages and marksmen are mainly assault type of uh, legions and if you want to be more of a damage dealer on the battlefield you want to have a sound type of artifacts with the attack bonuses and the skill damages on the um, levels right on the skills of the artifacts if you are more of an infantry player and in general you like to play more defensive style then you are looking to the defensive stats and the skills of the artifacts which will make you survival longer during the fights uh, let's see what kind of artifacts will be the most preferable for the every single legion type in the game and first of all we will be speaking about marksman because that's my uh, main and my favorite legion type in the game for example right uh, at, at first we need to speak about artifacts which everybody can get and uh, doesn't matter if you are a free to play player or pay to win player everybody can get shadow blades right it's you can get shadow blades from the universal normal uh, keys a uh, pretty straightforward artifact um, damage dealer artifact assault type every single stats is uh, attack uh, stats and also the skill which this artifact has is dealing damage mainly uh, if you are having shadow blades on your uh, inventory you are really really happy because you will be using shadow blades 100 percent also like damage uh, factor skill which will uh, you will use whenever you have shadow blades it deals damage up to five enemy legions and that's good enough in order for you to deal a lot of damage during the battlefield the same style of artifact but uh, like in terms of free to play get a ball from the normal keys but more of a defensive style of artifact is heart of kamasi which is more of a support defensive style of artifact as you can see attributes are marksman unit defense legion defense it will help you to stay alive longer and also the skill of the heart of kamasi is pretty great uh, it does not give you pure stats but it gives these like aura to you and the two friendly legions which will give you additional buffs which which means the skill is more of a supportive and the stats are defensive stats i think uh, if you are generally playing with the one main uh, legion of, uh, in terms of the legion type like you're you're meaning one legion type and you have couple of marksman legions uh, for the fighting i think i think shadow blades and heart of kamasi in terms of free to play accessible artifacts are pretty good that's why i'm using both of them uh simply because as a free-to-play player it's really hard for you to get the exclusive artifacts which is exclusive for the specific heroes right 
let's speak about those artifacts uh, like first of all um, as, as i said shadow blades and the herd of kamasi can be used on every single marksman in my opinion and also in call of dragons we have other artifacts which are exclusive artifacts for exclusive like certain heroes right for example gold crest is a soul type of artifact which is amazing for a syndrome specifically but in general if you don't have syndrome and you have only gold crest of course you will be able to use gold crest on any other marksman hero but it's better to use on a syndrome uh, in terms of rattle spear again yet another um, assault type of artifact which is giving us uh, attack uh, bonuses in terms of stats uh, it's amazing for Kinara because of defense break. Defense break is amazing for Kinara. And yet again, if you don't have Kinara and you have Rattle Spear, you will be using on any other marksman. It's a pretty good artifact in general. Yet again, uh, but more of a defensive style if you want to stay alive longer, simply because of the marksman unit HP, Legion HP. It's not attack, it's more of a defensive style, but in terms of skill we okay, we have a assault type of skill on the on the viola's bow in my opinion the choice is pretty easy to pick if you are a, a damage dealer in with your marksman you are choosing the shadow blades you are choosing uh like uh, cold crest you are choosing a rattle spear that's more of a damage dealer artifacts for marksmen uh if you are more defensive style you have heart of kamasi uh you have viola's bow which is good enough for you to use them in general if you don't have any legendary artifacts for your marksmen you you have two choices here you have heart piercer uh, which is nice uh, you have also bomb flinger and uh like the new artifact which is still a heart avenger a soul type of artifact that's the only epic choices you have in my opinion out of these three epic ones um heart Purser is the best one that's all about the marksman which was pretty interesting in my opinion whenever you have a couple of ways of playing the ones like a couple of styles with in order to play the uh, legion type it's always great because you can choose it whichever hero heroes you will be using and whichever uh, artifacts will be suitable for this play style in terms of mages yet again we have two styles defensive and offensive uh, for the offensive ones of course phoenix eye is the great artifact uh, accessible for a free-to-play players from the normal keys uh, the stats on the phoenix eye is magic unit attack legion attack i think best stats in terms of mage legions because i think mages are best whenever they are dealing a lot of damage to a couple of legions the skill boosted attack um, is dealing damage to four nearby legions uh, damage factor is pretty high so i really really like phoenix eye if you will ever get it uh, from the normal keys and you are a mage player or in general you have at least one legion which is mage that you are playing with of course you have to equip phoenix eye and you will be dealing a lot of damage the defensive st style of artifact for mages from normal keys is tier of arbon which has magic unit defense and legion defense stats and also the skill which is pretty great during wars because you will be healing your alliance members so with this uh, divine mercy it's more of a defensive uh, supportive style of artifact which will be useful for any mage players i think so there is two obvious choices from normal keys you if you have phoenix eye and tier of arborn you are already really happy that it means that you are already got lucky if you are free to play player of course um, in terms of mages we also have some exclusive artifacts such as infernal flame again yet another assault type of artifact uh, especially great with the um, lilia because of the scorch mechanic uh, lilia has everything around scorch and in infernal flame is all about scorch right <clears throat> other artifact which is exclusive for mages is mirage orb which is great for bertrand uh, assault type of artifact uh, attack uh, stats uh, skill nightmarish revere revire uh, is dealing damage so like as i mentioned if you like to play mages by just dealing as much damage as possible there is like obvious choices right first one is uh for offensive ones i think phoenix eye because you can get it from the normal keys um, after that it's uh, infernal flame it's mirage orb and from the defensive ones i think the tier of arbon is pretty good uh healing is is nice um, especially during wars 
and of course uh, Breath of the Jargentis. Uh, it has a uh, assault type of artifacts um, stats like magic unit attack and legion attack but the skill of the artifact is uh, supportive time versatile so in general if you if you have a couple of legions which are mages and you are fighting with like for example three or four legions you will like to have breath of the juggernauts in general for the wars especially right now uh, that's all about mages of course if you don't have any legendary um, artifact for mage legions there is one obvious choice which is magic bomb that's the best mage, mage artifact currently which we have in the game so if you don't have any uh, legendary artifact for your mages feel free to use uh, magic bomb now it's time for us to speak about infantry um, in general i think infantry has the highest amount of uh, artifacts in the game um, as always we have offensive one and defensive artifact and in my opinion um, in general especially if you are tier 4 player as an infantry you, you want to have off defensive uh, artifacts in order to stay alive longer right uh, so from the normal keys from the universal keys which we can get freely there is like a couple of choices which you can um, equip your infantry units which is for example Fang of Ashkari which is defensive artifact legion in defense uh, legion defense both of these stats are defensive and also uh, like you have skill thunder shadow which is doing damage into the area to a couple of legions and the damage is physical and magical the Fang of Ashkari's main point is that it has a defensive stats on the both stats which will make your infantry legion more tankier uh, but of course from the normal keys for the infantry there is better uh, like there is a couple of choices for the offensive ones such as spring of silence uh, more of a offensive type of artifact uh, like i have tried fang of ashkari and spring of silence and difference is pretty huge i'm dying as an infantry whenever i have spring of silence more easily than fang of ashkari but in general if you like uh, infantry like gameplay uh, with the more attacking playstyle, Spring of Silence is pretty good. Uh, infantry unit attack, legion attack, and also dealing damage to three nearby legions, and also you are slowing them. Um, again, one more offensive artifact, Dragon Rift, which is infantry unit attack. Again, an offensive one for infantry, especially good for the Medellin, right? Because of the uh, physical key which has synergy with Medellin's first skill. Uh, in terms of other artifacts for infantry there is much more choices in terms of other exclusive artifacts for infantry such as for example spirit bone torque amazing artifact for goresh and in general i think goresh and skogul is the best infantry hero pair in the game currently but the most unique part about this artifact is that you can simply count five nearby enemy legions which will let you deal a lot of counter attack damage stats are defensive which i like honestly uh, another artifact which is uh, amazing in terms of defensive ones is dragon scale armor you need hp legion hp also you are having shield at the a skill also pretty good and one more one which is gray mares warhammer the defensive one and in general as i said i like defensive artifacts on infantry way more than uh, offensive ones um, in terms of like my tiers, I think I'm using Fang of Ashkari as a free to play player. If I will ever get Dragon Scale Armor or Grey, Grey Mars Warhammer or Spirit Bone Torque, I will be happy um, from every each of them and I will be using them. That's why I think we have many, many choices in terms of infantry in this game. For the epic ones, I think there is only one choice, um, which is Butcher's Blade unfortunately it's only offensive one i hope we can get more of a defensive uh, infantry artifacts in this game but currently we have more of a offensive ones of course the newest epic ones has some defensive stats but i think it's not enough for infantry to be as tanky as possible which is needed in this game the next legion type is of course uh, cavalry in for for the cavalry there is like two styles again more of an attacking style and the second style is like mobility which is amazing for <coughs> cavalry players in general because uh, in general cavalry's main stats is 
uh, mobility uh, and the dealing damage, rage damage as much as possible. There is obvious choices for the free-to-play players, which is like Solan's Blade, um, offensive and the Legion March Speed, as I have mentioned, and also Storm Arrows, which I like a lot, more of an attacking style of artifact with an amazing teleport skill. If you want to sneak uh, on, on your enemies, it will be really, really helpful for you because you will be having a lot of fun with the blink uh gameplay that's the attacking style that's i think the best choices in terms of free to play uh, gettable artifacts also uh, even better one i need to check if the dragon slayer king slayer is free to play yep, king slayer is for free to play players which means we have to absolutely mention it so in general i think the best one from the for the cavalry artifacts especially for the normal pools uh, is the king slayer king slayer is the better version of the for the soul lance blade so if you somehow got soul lance blade and you don't have king slayer um, it, it does pretty much same but king slayer does more damage than soul lance blade uh, in terms of like uh, specific artifacts for the cavalry heroes which is exclusively good for a certain ones i think uh, out of the storm pick is great for the uh, foron deal uh, that's the artifact which came out with the foron deal and generally whenever something like that uh, that happens that artifacts deserve like is only not only it's better to have on the hero which just came out of course, in my opinion, the best artifact for cavalry uh, units and cavalry players is Spring Blades because of the amazing uh, skill Cyclone Blade. Also, both stats are Assault stats, which means like unit attack and legion attack. Generally, I think Spring Blades are, is dealing uh, much more damage than any other cavalry artifact in general in this game. So there is like obvious choices in my opinion as a free-to-play player if you want to be more offensive, uh, Solan's Blade and uh, Kingslayer is your choice. Um, if you somehow got lucky and you have uh, spring uh, spring blades that's your main option i think that's the best one but unfortunately it's only gettable for pay to win players uh, for exclusive ones of course uh, also of the storm peak um, you can even have spring of spring Breed feather if you generally like to move around faster but i think uh, kingslayer spring uh, spring blades and even solan's blade and storm arrows are the better choices than uh, the Springbird Feather in general. I think still Cavalry Legions are one of the weakest Legions in the game which needs some more love and let's see if we are going to have more uh, like buffs to the Cavalry Legions and heroes in general. The last hero type which is left for us is Flying uh, Units and of course um, there is obvious choices and whenever we are speaking about Flying um, we need to mention everything of faction <clears throat> and for example if you are playing League of Order, you are using Tier of Arbon. That's um, like best choice for a free-to-play player. And also like defensive stats on the Celestials kind of work. If not, as always, Phoenix Eye, like any mage artifact which we already mentioned, we can use it simply. It will be great. If you are playing the Thea, um, in general, I think for Thea, uh, Wizards of the Sanctus is the main and the best artifact for Thea in general for any other uh, flying hero pair uh, and whenever I'm speaking about flying uh, units or flying artifacts uh, Thea is only always the main topic because she has been and she will be the best flying hero which is used in every single flying hero pair in the game and I think for the flyers uh, Wizards of the Sanctus uh, is the best artifact in general in the game other than that you can always use like for example if you are playing wilderberg any marksman artifact will be great if you are playing with the league of order you are having with like Mar uh, mages celestials tier of arbon phoenix eye like any mage artifact but if you are playing with the spring wardens you have a cavalry eagles with the thea uh, and you will be using like even spring bird feather or any cavalry artifact which you like in the general in the game uh, such as like for example spring blades will be totally fine um, i hope i answered every single question which i have got in terms of artifacts i understand uh, artifacts can be complicating um, i have gotten a lot of questions regarding 
uh, this topic in general and i that's why i decided to take this video i hope you like the content uh, which i'm making for this game um, like uh, i'm pretty close on for the verification on the youtube i already have 4000 hours um, uh, watched but we are lacking some subscribers which will happen in general in the future i'm not in a rush thanks for watching i hope you are having amazing day morning or night wherever you are now um, i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye and good luck